Yo, what's up guys, today I'm gonna show you how you can get uh, increased FPS without any input lag or buffer. So let's get started. The first thing that you wanna do is that you have to press Windows plus R button. This thing will pop up and you have to write percent app data percent. Press OK. Press app data. Go to local and find Fortnite game. Here's Fortnite game. Go to save. Config. Windows line. Press uh, right click on game user, user settings. Now go to properties and make sure that it is uh, it is basically set to tick. You have to untick this. Okay. Untick and uh, press apply. Okay. Now you have to double click this this uh this will pop up okay now you have to make sure that your v show grass is set to false this is basically set to true okay you have to scroll down and make sure that your display gamma is set to 1.000 it is basically set to 2.7000 now you have to scroll down and make sure that all of your graphic settings is set to zero from here to here uh, it is up to you that how you want to set your distance quality uh, epic recently uh, added these two settings that you have to set zero, zero. it will uh, make your game a lot uh, smoother without any input lag after that you have to press file and you have to save this press save uh, minimize this and then uh, right click on game user settings go to properties and press on read only uh, make sure that it is ticked press apply ok and then you are good to go moving on the next step uh, i think uh, it is uh, basically for the media users uh, press uh, right click and go to nvidia control panel settings it's gonna take a little bit of time sorry if i'm being a little bit straightforward ok uh, we have to go manage uh, 3d settings um, you have to scroll down and make sure that your power and management mode is set to prefer maximum performance and open GL rendering uh, GPU it, uh, it is set to your graphic card and your low latency mode ok so this is a very uh, important uh, thing you have to set it to ultra it basically do is that uh, it monitors your speed at very high level so it will cause a very less input lag and make sure to apply it apply this and then let's move on to the next step after that you have to go to your windows type search you have to type background apps go to background apps and make sure that it is disabled uh, it will basically do is that it will cause your game not to like because these apps are running in background uh, and your PC will not get a lot of burden and your game will run very smoothly. Okay then, uh, search here game bar. It is same as I have told before. Uh, make sure that it is not running in your background. Turn it off and make sure that this thing is undead. Further moving on, go to your epic games. Uh, make sure that your go to settings and make sure that you have these command line arguments these are very important i will leave them in the link down below but you have to check one thing that uh, how many uh, processors your core is running uh, in pre in pre uh, preferred proce uh, processors if your pc is running eight processors you have to write eight over here just make this thing clear after that you have to download nvidia's better tool uh, I will give the link down below. Uh, after that, you have to download the uh, NVIDIA Inspector tool and extract it. It will look like this. Okay, you have to double click this, go to bluecity.com, press NVIDIA over here, press this, and then press this. It will take a time. Okay, so right here, you have to write Fortnite. Uh, here it is, press this. So, this will pop up. It will take a little, a little bit of time. Uh, make sure that your maximum pre rendered frame and second refresh is set to use the 3D application settings. Okay, and further moving on, make sure that NP aliasing transparency super sampling is set to AA replay mode off right here. You just like this. Basically, it will do that you can uh, lower your textures a bit. The more you increase, the less the input uh, lag you will get. I would suggest you to 
uh, select 1.2500 uh, percent uh, uh, but but you will basically what it will do is it will uh, reduce your game's texture and quality and like uh, there will be a lot of shadow but it will uh, run your game very smoothly and you will feel a lot of change and the more high you, you set the more change you will get I think this is the best rendered setting for you press apply changes and then you're good to go the last but not the least setting make sure that you guys are using the timer res resolution press this to maximum and make sure that it is running in the background and if you guys found this video uh, very helpful make sure to like subscribe and peace out